Good morning. Today's tutorial will be on the Growing with Canvas Nurturing section, and this will be for Assignment 2.9, How to Create a Home Page. So as with any assignment, you know we're going to go to the Nurturing section, and we will have to complete a few items before we get to Assignment. So 2.1 is your learning plan that will give you the overview of everything you're going to learn in Nurturing. 2.2 teaches you about how to upload files to your Canvas course. 2.3 is your course settings. 2.4 teaches you how to customize your Canvas course. 2.5 gives you a tutorial on the Rich Content Editor. 2.6 is announcements. 2.7 teaches you how to create a home page. 2.8 is a syllabus. And if you notice, by 2.9, we have the LEAF, so we know that we are required to submit something. As with all the assignments, I encourage you to read what they want because they usually want more than one thing. So here we see, first they want us to set our home page, either as a front page or a syllabus. We will be doing the front page option. And we have to make sure that our home page has our course name, our instructor's name, and our contact information. We will not be doing the optional link to syllabus. Then when you're finished, you're going to submit something a little different this time. This time they want us to do a link. In our prior submissions, we've done a screenshot, but for this one, we're going to have to submit a link. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our dashboard, and we're going to go back to our sandbox. I'm going to show you my home page. So my home page has a title, it has um, a graphic, it has about me, it has my contact information, and then it has an additional link. So we're going to get started on creating your home page. So in your sandbox, you're going to click on the left and you're going to click on pages. Then you're going to click the view all pages. Now you have an option on the right to add a page. So you're going to click on plus page. And you're going to title this page home page. These items up here are what they consider the rich content editor and it just allows you to edit what you're putting on your page just like you would a Word document or any other document that you're familiar with. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to center it and I want to look for a graphic. So if I click on the embed image icon, it gives me some options. If I had a picture on my desktop that I wanted to upload, I could upload that. But to make this easier for this tutorial, we're going to click on the Flickr option and what this does is it finds images on the web that are public domain. So I just want maybe um, a clip art of math. Now you can search for clip art of Apple, school, whatever you want on your page. So I'm going to search and see what they've got. Okay, I really like this math rock, so I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say update. This now embeds it onto my page. Now remember there were a couple of items that we had to have. We had to have the course name, the instructor's name, and your contact information. So I'll put Jones Math Class 2.1. Now you can name yours um, Miss Perez's first grade class or what it, whatever you want to title it. Now I do want to make that a little bit bigger so I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to come up here to the point and I'll probably do about 24. All right, the next thing, remember it said that you had to put the instructor. Okay, um, so teacher, Sandra Jones, and they want contact information. So I'm going to contact me, and 
I'm going to put my school email. You could also add um, the school's phone number, whatever you want on your page. But remember, you do have to have these items. You have to have a title for your class. You have to have who the instructor is and how to contact you. Now, once you get this like you want it, you're going to hit Save and Publish. So now you're going to go to, so now we're going to go back to pages and we want to view all pages. So you are going to look for the home page that you just created. And what you will want to do is click on these three dots on the end. Some people call it a kebab, a snowman. Just look for the three dots at the end of your home page. Make sure that your green check mark um, is open so that means that your page is published. When I click on those three dots, I'm going to select use as front page. So once you use it as your front page, you will need to go back to home and this time it's going to ask you if you want to choose a home page. You will click on choose home page and you will put the dot in front page because remember we just saved that as a front page. Now our assignment asked us to um, upload the URL. So for this one, we are not going to take a screenshot. We are simply going to select the URL at the top. You can do a control C to copy, or you could right click, copy, whatever's easier for you. And then we're going to go back to our dashboard. And we're going to go to our Canvas training course. We're going to click on nurturing. We're going to go down to 2.9, and we're going to submit an assignment. Again, I can't show you here because I've already submitted this assignment, so I'm going to go to my sandbox as a student, and I'm going to show you what that will look like for you. Hold on a minute. I selected the wrong one. Okay, so you will, for your 2.9 homepage, you're going to submit an assignment. So this time, you notice it doesn't give you the option to attach anything. You're going to click in the box, and remember, we just copied the URL. So you're going to hit Control V. Or you could right click, paste, whatever is easier for you, and you're going to submit that assignment. So that's how we do the 2.9. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. I'm always available. I hope you found this helpful.